Geralt! Ah! What's up guys, Flaming Geek here. Welcome back to Witcher Wednesday. What do you know? This is the second week where I'm continuing and having a video out. Yay, me! <laughs> yes, I am patting myself on the back because I filmed it, I edited it, and the most important thing is I uploaded it. Most of the time I film content, edit it, and then I don't upload it because I hate seeing myself on camera. Is, is that weird? Because originally when I started doing like YouTube, if you go and look back in my old videos, it was literally me making a video for myself, if that makes any sense. I kind of was like, yeah, like this is, this is fun. I didn't really understand how YouTube works. And I was like, no one's ever going to see this. this is great. Yeah. I, I know it doesn't make sense, but yeah, I don't, I hate seeing myself on camera. One of my biggest things when acting was I hated seeing myself afterwards and hearing my voice. And it's the same thing when I edit, whenever I'm editing, I'm like cringing. It's like nails on chakra. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Witcher Week 2, semaine numéro 2. Today we are going to be, re well, I will be reacting to two Witcher trailers. I really want to go and react to all the Witcher trailers. Not gonna lie, guys, this is how much of a weirdo and Witcher geek I am. I have the audio of the fucking trailers on my phone. Oh yeah, and look at this. My background is Yennefer. Yes, this, this is how much I love the Witcher. I have the audio of all the trailers on my phone, on my video game playlist on my phone, and on my running and badass play playlist. So I listen to it and I just go, oh yes, Geralt! Ah! So I thought, why not go back and react and watch all the trailers? Because memories, this is what I'm all about, memories. And also I am stalling and trying to buy myself time as I work on the script for my Netflix episode one review. Yes, I am coming out with a review for that. I haven't forgotten about the Netflix series. It's just, I've had to go back and reread sections of the books to link it to compare. We need to have a comparison because I have a lot of shit to say about the Netflix adaptation. But nay, I digress. That is a video for another week and another time. Today we are going to be looking at the first trailer that was dropped, which is the Killing Monsters. I, I can't, I can't do girl's voice. Killing Monsters, which I love that Lambert made fun of him and the game for that great moment. Thank you. We're going to be reacting to the 2013 Killing Monsters trailer and the E3 2014 trailer because the 2014 one is equally good because we got Lambert and Eskel and Vesemir who, you know what, if I had my way, I would have a Witcher game where you get to see more of them, you know, it like, you know, because it was great having them all drunk together in The Witcher 3. Why can't we have a game where it's the three of them together with Papa Vesemir and they go and do something? I don't know. I just, I love, I love Eskel and Lambert. I love my boys. Yeah. Okay. Without further ado, guys, we're going to go first with the Killing Monsters trailer. Let's get to it. I feel so old. CD Project Red. By order presents. of the Emperor of Nilfgaard, for the murder of the wounded, looting, cannibalism, you are hereby sentenced to death by hanging. Or torment. Oh, no! oh it's still like new. No man's land. Felon. Don't meddle. Take the reward and let's go. Ooh. Tough hunt. Tougher than yours, that's certain. Oh, Carol. Evil is evil. Lesser, greater, middling makes no difference. Bring her down. Do it my way. You like that, you bitch? Get the hammer. The degree is arbitrary. The definition's blurred. 
If I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Ah! Just make it quick, Geralt. Yes! Show them how the witchers do it. Ooh, art to the face. Viper gear. What, what, what are you doing? Killing monsters. Damn! Doesn't get old! Doesn't get old! Oh! I remember when this trailer came out. Guys, I feel so old. All right, we're back. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel so incredibly old. <laughs> and I'm not that old. I'm not that old. Really, I'm not. Um, oh my gosh. I remember I came out, I was in university. <laughs> uh, playing Quidditch and drinking every day. <laughs> stressing over exams. Oh my goodness, that trailer, it, it's beautiful. It's a masterpiece. We could have an animated movie of The Witcher with the game voice actor. If that ever happened, guys, I would lose my shit. I would go see that over a Netflix version, like the Netflix cast doing a movie of The Witcher. No, no, no. <laughs> the good, th the great thing is like I said, this got tied into the fucking game. The fucking game. Lambert references and makes fun of Geralt saying this. What I also loved when I first saw this trailer is I remember those lines that Geralt does say, uh, evil is evil, lesser, greater. I think it was in the Last Wish book. It was phrased differently. I don't know if it was the translation, but I remember reading that and being like, this is amazing. And the fact that they have Geralt saying this in the trailer. It's so good. And the combat. You can go and find videos of the stunt crew and the mo the motion capture crew doing this. You can see the actual mocap of it. And it's really cool how they shot it and how it was filmed and how it was choreographed. Pretty amazing. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I said that that was a chort, the monster that they had, uh, the trophy that they brought back. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I always get chort and fiend mixed up, but a chort is in a subcategory of a fiend, if I remember correctly. If my monster lore serves me right. Oh, this is so good. If I had to rate trailers, this would be 100%. 100%. Guys, let's get into the E3 trailer from 2014. I love this trailer just because it's got my Witcher boys in it and it's badass and you've got Charles Dance in it. Like, eh, okay. Aw, look, Geralt, it's you. It's you. It's you killing monsters. You're killing monsters. Aw. He hates me right now. Ugh, the music already. It's so good. <gasps> Rose Birch. Vesemir, take Once us away. We were many. Now we are few. Oh, it's all Vesemir <laughs> Lambert Eskel. The ultimate oh. killing machines. See, I want to see Among the boys in action. A legend. Ah. The one they call Geralt, Geralt of Rivia. The White, the white wolf. wolf. We meet again, Witcher. Uh, Charles Dance Majesty. as Emir. She's returned, Geralt. Great voice acting After choice. All these years. Are you sure it's her? Yes. yes. And she's in danger. Oh my gosh. That was a great Witnesses moment. Claim the wild hunt follows in the her. game. They come into that you village. Must find her. Oh man. I wish he had the same crown then. in the game. I wish they hadn't changed I it. I shall give her what she deserves. Ooh. Ugh, if you've read the books, 
that's a little creepy. <laughs> oh, the Sword of Destiny. Oh yeah, La Passiflora. <laughs> I come for her of the prophecy. Every decision you make will bring devastation. Oh, Yen looks so different as well. Like her fit features are softer. And Aragon's voice was changed in this trailer. It sounds closer to like the game Aragon voice, but in I think it was like the E3 2013, it was different. Ah! Uh... My boy, I miss. Yes, Geralt in the background. Jeez. Oh, <sighs> A boy, Aradin. I don't know why they changed his crown, but I I like that version, the earlier game versions portrayal of him because his armor looks more like the armor that was in the animated cutscenes in The Witcher 2. And you know what's one thing I wish didn't happen also in the game? I wish Aradin didn't reveal his face until literally the when he was dying. I thought it was so stupid. He shows up, he looks badass in his fucking armor and he just goes and takes it off and you see his features and you're like, no, why? Why? Why do bad guys have to do that for reveals? It's less menacing. It's like when Vader's mask comes off, you know, in Return of the uh, Jedi and you're like, oh, okay. This was the guy who was causing all this death and destruction. All right, guys, that trailer was awesome. I fucking love it. <laughs> I guys, I just love that trailer. Why? Because we get to see our boys, and we get to see Emir Var Emiris, and we get Aerdin doing his badass monologue there at the end. It was just great. It shows it showcases the game. It's gonna be action. It's gonna have a lot of lore. You get to go to see that La Pasiflora, which was one of my frequented spots in Novigrad. <laughs> great trailer. Great action. Great music. Loved it. And you got Roach. What else can you love? It's great to go back and watch these trailers. And at the end of the day, from the videos that I make pertaining to The Witcher, my hope is that I can bring some joy to other fans like me. And I can also introduce this amazing series to new fans alike. And with the new Netflix show out and of The Witcher 3 having like 50 million sales, making like CD Projekt Red is the most successful. I believe it's like the most successful European gaming company right now. The game and the series as a whole is reaching new audiences. And I hope people continue to play these games. And you know what? Unless you've played The Witcher 3, you don't understand what it's like to finish a game that is such a masterpiece and finish the game and you feel empty. When I finished the game at least, I was sitting there and I was like, well, what do I do with my life now? No game has ever been able to compare to that level of the experience and I'm constantly striving and hoping to relive those moments because that's how amazing this game is and hence why I'm going back and live streaming all the games. So you can join me every Friday and Saturdays. So Friday nights, this is all Tokyo time, 9 p.m. to midnight and Saturdays 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. where right now I'm streaming The Witcher 1. It's an amazing series. And I cannot wait to react to A Night to Remember, which is arguably like one of the greatest trailers ever. <laughs> and out of all the Witcher 3 trailers, that is probably the most iconic one. Let me know which, like, what your thoughts are of these two trailers. Are you new to The Witcher? Have you played any of The Witcher games? What is your favorite trailer? And who is your favorite character? Because you know what? If I couldn't have Geralt, I would love to go around with Lambert. I love Lambert. Not Lambert, sorry, Eskel. Not Lambert. Not Lambert. Although I do love him. Eskel. And Eskel and Geralt, like, trained together. They went through the trials together. And he's basically as talented as a witcher as Geralt, 
but less renowned as Geralt. Ah, oh, man, I would love a game with just my boys. All right, got, all right guys, let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments down below. I read every single one of your comments, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you very much for taking the time to leave them. Stay tuned to my next video, which will be coming on Monday for Variety Monday, and for another Witcher video, which will be next Wednesday for Witcher Wednesdays. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. Have a great day, have a great night, stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and until next time, live long and prosper.